Good afternoon, Melanie. Good afternoon, ma'am. Okay, Melanie, can you tell me about yourself? My name is Melanie Owang Dayakus. I am 25 years old. I am a single mother and I have one kid. Okay, I have a few questions for you to answer, so let's start. Yes, ma'am. Why do you want to work as a maid? To help my Philippine finances and, and to support the education of my child, ma'am. Why you choose Malaysia when there is a lot of other country? Because it is near from Philippines, ma'am. And I want to know the culture and... How are you qualified for this job? Because I am hardworking, kind, polite, and honest. What is your recent working experience? Housemaid now. May I know what uh, your education and level is? House, high school level, ma'am. Have you worked abroad before? No, ma'am. Do you have experience of taking care of babies? Yes, ma'am. How about elderly? None, ma'am. Do you have any other special skills? Yes. Like dishwashing, cleaning, ironing, and others, ma'am. Are you willing to learn new skills? Yes, ma'am. Are you willing to work with a family where the mother-in-law or any relatives stay together? Yes, ma'am. Currently, are you still working now? No, ma'am. Do you know how to cook? Yes, ma'am. What sort of food can you cook? Filipino food, ma'am, like adobo, ma'am, afritada, and others, ma'am. Are you aware that you will have to do washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking? Yes, ma'am. From all the house chores that I mentioned to you, like washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking, which do you like most? All, all of the above. Yes, ma'am. All of the above. May nalukay mo ito. If ever you were selected to work in Malaysia, who will take care of your kid? My live-in partner, ma'am. You are not allowed to use handphone during working hours. Yes, ma'am. You are only allowed to use handphone after you finish all the works and when going to bed. Yes, ma'am. You are strictly needed to surrender the handphone to your employer in the morning and your employer will return back to you once you're going to bed. Yes, ma'am. You are strictly needed to surrender the handphone to your employer in the morning and your employer will return back to you once you're going to bed. Yes, ma'am. If ever your employer finds out that you're abusing of using your handphone and it's affected your work performance, your employer will confiscate your handphone and you are not allowed to hold it anymore. Yes, ma'am. Instead, your employer will allow you to call to your family three times in a month. You only allowed to bring normal phone and you are not allowed to bring smartphone. Are you agreed for the terms and condition? Yes, ma'am. Are you agree to the rules and regulation for the handphone? Yes, ma'am. How many years is the contract as you agreed and understands? Two years, ma'am. Can you describe for me your ethics, your attitude? I am hardworking, polite, honest, and industrious, ma'am. Can you promise not to use the telephone without the permission of your employer? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to put on makeup but to dress properly while work? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to invite friends and relatives without the consent of your employer? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to ask for advance salary from your employer under any circumstances? Yes, ma'am. Okay. How can you assure to us that you will work hard in Malaysia? I will do my job, ma'am. I, I will do my job well, ma'am. Okay. Do you really understand of the rules and regulation of the agency? Yes, ma'am. 
Do you pay any placement fee for you to come to Malaysia to work as a maid? No, ma. Do you have any history of sickness, breast cancer, or any other illness? No, ma. Do you suffer from any skin diseases, allergy, or physical defect? None, ma. Have you suffered from any serious illness? No, ma. Do you smoke? No, ma. Have you undergone any operation? No, ma. Have you undergone any operation? None, ma. Are you medically fit or are you fit to work? Not yet, ma'am. Still ongoing? Yes, ma'am. Still ongoing. Are you in any medication right now? Yes. Are you allergic with any food? No, ma'am. Are you preferred to work for the employer of any race? Yes, ma'am. Are you preferred to eat the type of food taken by your employer? Yes, ma'am. Are you afraid of being left alone in the house? Yes, ma'am. Are you afraid of dogs or other pets? Yes, ma'am. Are you afraid of dogs or other pets? No, ma'am. Can Sorry. you promise to work according to instruction from your employer? Yes. Do you have any immediate family working in Malaysia? No, ma'am. Okay, Melanie, we have finished our question section. Let's go to case study. I have a case study for you and I want you to answer me truthfully. Upon arrival in Malaysia within six months only, if ever any of your family members passed away, what will you do, Melanie? I will finish my contract, ma'am. And I will continue my work. Okay. Then I only send money, ma'am. Okay, good. Um, tell us about yourself again, Melanie, and why do you want to work in Malaysia as domestic helper? I am Melanie Owang Dayakus. I am 25 years old. I am a single mother. I have one kid. And why do you want to work in Malaysia as domestic helper? I want to work in Malaysia just to help my family and to support the education of my child, mom. Okay, um, what do you want to tell to your employer who are watching your video right now? Mom, please choose me. Mom, please choose me because I want to help my mother, mom. I, I, I want to help my family and to my study of my child, mom. Okay, thank you very much, um, Melanie. We will update to your agency if there is any selection made by the employer. Thank you, mom.